Welcome everybody to another episode of Chaotic Lore. Today's lore breakdown will be about Clayborn Clay, aka K Clayotic. Clay's stats, his age is ranging between 15 through 19, and first appearance is episode 1. Welcome to Chaotic. Clay is one of the antagonists of the series. He's friends with his fellow antagonist, Christella. Clay has blonde hair and pink eyes. He has an above average height with a lanky body, which gives him a creepy appearance. Clay is actually a bit older than the four main protagonists. From his accent, he's Australian. Clay wears a cream colored turtleneck sweater with brown sports jacket. He wears pink shades, black pants, and brown shoes, possibly loafers. Not much is known about Clay's life outside of Chaotic. Since he's Australian, it's possible he lives in Australia or his family comes from Australia but lives somewhere in the US. Whenever he came to Chaotic, chaotic clay began scamming new kids out of their best cards in order to better his deck and decrease other opponents chances of winning before this series clay was considered one of the best chaotic players but during the series and onward we haven't seen him win any matches despite being slightly older than the four main leads clay still displays a level of immaturity he can be nasty and rude to others, and on occasion, Clay has shown to have some control issues. For example, Clay yells at another chaotic player he's trying to scam out of nowhere. Clay is shown to not hesitate to send players into dangerous situations in peril to get rid of any competition, such as trying to send Tom and Kaz and Hearing into boiling magma in Kaibun's forge in order to get the phobia mask. The only person he seems to care for is Christella. Clay uses an underworld deck. Some of the creatures he uses are Lord Von Blut, Dartemis, Magmon, Perithion, and Bareth Beyond. Some of the music he uses is Decomposition, Decrescendo, Song of Fury, and Canon of Casualty. Some of the battle gear he uses are the Flux Bobble, Windstrider, Liquidizer, and the Vile Driver. And finally, some of the location he uses, Deer Valley, Glacier Plains, Gothos Tower, The Lava Pond, and Skeletal Springs. If Clay cares about anyone, it's Christella. Lord Von Blue is more of an ally whose interests sometimes align. Mostly everyone else Clay considers an enemy, but hates Tom, Kaz, Peyton, and Sarah the most since they often follow he and Christella's evil plans. We first meet Clay as he tricks Tom into transporting to Param, this being the episode 1 Welcome to Chaotic with the former believing he was transporting home. Clay seeing Tom as a potential threat was trying to get rid of the competition because when your chaotic self gets fatally hurt in Param, that part of you can't return to your body and therefore you'll never gain access to chaotic again. Clay met Christella for the first time in episode everything in flux. 
Priscilla sought revenge against Tom and Cass because they unknowingly ruined a deal she had with Perithion. After Clay got angry with Tom for interrupting him while trying to scam a new chaotic player, Clay challenged Tom to a match. Christella eased dropped on Tom and Kaz's battle plans and told Clay. Thanks to Tom's quick thinking, he still managed to pull a victory. Despite this setback, Christella saw this as a beginning of a perfectly nasty friendship. Clay and Christella was integral in Lord Von Blue's plot against Maxor. When Blue tried a decomposition music against Maxor without knowing if it worked, Clay and Cristela told him in exchange for a scan of him because he was so rare to get. In the two-part episode Dual Duel, Clay and Cristela hijacked the scan of the phobia mask Tom and Cass was attempting to get, and in the midst of doing so, they left them to potentially die in Kaibon's forge. This being the last straw, they challenged Clay and Cristela to a 2v2 match. If Tom and Kaz win, Clay and Cristela have to give them the phobia mask scans. If Clay and Cristela win, they got they get their Maxor and Chaos scans. However, Clay and Cristela lost, but still denied Tom and Kaz their agreed upon prize. They even pointed out they like being despised and don't care if people don't choose to challenge them, but they're satisfied with mandatory organized matches. A week later, Tom and his friends discover Clay and Chrisella have been hypnotized and is working as Herring's maze during the day. They were pleased at first until they realized during the night they worked in the underground mines by Opto, the creature who hypnotized them in the first place. After saving the two of them from a cave-in, being enslaved by Opto, and hearing threatening to making things difficult for them in the underworld, they grudgingly agreed to give the phobia mask scans to them to make them even. In the episode War Beast, a player named Connor tricks Peyton into trading 20 of his cards for Connor's Mapedian War Beast, Lazvatan. Now realizing he was working with Clay and Cristela to literally con Peyton out of his best cards. But what Clay and Cristela didn't realize, Connor backstabbed them by telling Peyton about conjurers so he can control his war beast. Once Peyton got a conjurer scan, he challenged Clay to a match. But Clay did get a, himself a conjurer and they battled war beast versus war beast. However, Clay lost when Peyton used a music to remove his Blazvatan's abilities, which includes recklessness that normally hurts a creature. And since Clay's War Beast still has recklessness, it put him at a critical disadvantage. In the episode Worlds Apart, Clay as well as Tom and his friends were shocked to do to find out Christella had a twin sister named Gisela. Unlike Christella, Gisela was a good person. This seems to always cause them to butt heads. Play suggested the twins settle things in a chaotic match. To make this fair, it would be a 1v1 match with Clay providing the girls the neutral location Xlo Lighthouse. Battle gear was provided along with twins, twin creatures of uh, Gisela will use Avena and Cristela will use Navena. If you want to learn more about Avena and Navena, check out my Chaotic Lore video I did about the twins. Cristela won only because Clay sabotaged the battle gear he provided to Gisela, expecting Cristela to owe him. Not appreciating the rigged match, Cristela decides to apologize to her sister and both go on a scan quest for damaged battle gear to give to Clay as revenge. 
in the episode Threshold of Destruction after the shocking revelation that Sam Shady also had past parent creatures in his deck, he revealed to Kaz that he followed him and his friends through the portal of Drenokis Threshold. Eventually, every chaotic player started coming through, even Clay and Cristela, with the former referring to it as a dump. They decided to find Von Blue shoveling coal after the Merlin invasion and was overthrown in the underworld. Clay and Cristela tell him about the time portal in exchange, only they are allowed to enter the past for scans and nobody else. With that knowledge, Blue could conquer all of Param, but their plans were thwarted by Tom and his friends with the help of Nadrin and the, tribal, the other tribal creatures. The final episode, Son of the Spirit Lands, you can see Clay and Cristela with parent creatures and many chaotic players paying their respects to Tangif Tolborn. Personally, it's hard to believe they had any feelings towards Tangif, but maybe because of his sacrifice and saving Param, they wouldn't lose out on potential great scans in the future. So maybe that's the reason. And that is the lore video for Clayotic. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas for any other future Chaotic Lore videos you want me to do, I will get around to it. Leave a comment below so I can make a list and I'll give you a nice little shout out. But I'll see you next time for more Chaotic Lore. Peace.